Hey Trello friends, welcome back. Okay, today I'm gonna to be showing you a new feature that hasn't quite come out yet from Trello. Uh, and it's gonna be a really exciting one and I think it's gonna help a lot of Trello users boost their productivity and get more done in less time. So today we are gonna be talking about mirror cards. Now this is something that's coming out very soon from Trello and a little bit of information has been hinted at here and there. So today I just wanna discuss what they are and what we know so far. So if that's of interest, then keep watching. Let's get into it. Okay, so here we are on our demo board and I think the first thing to say is what are mirror cards? So if you've never heard this term before and you just clicked on this video out of pure curiosity because you like new Trello things, then that's great. Um, and I can explain a bit more. So a mirror card is when you can add some information to a card on one board and it will automatically reflect that same information across on another board. And obviously this is great because it means you don't have to update the information in multiple places and you can just do it once and let the power of automation do the rest. So this is something that a lot of Trello users have asked for for quite a long time. And there are a few solutions out there already that you can use power-ups for. Um, so if you can't wait and you really wanna do this right now, I can tell you about one of those uh, towards the end of this video. So stick around for that if you're interested. Um, but for now, we're gonna talk about what we think Trello are gonna be rolling out very soon with this functionality. Okay, so if I open up this card where I've collected a bunch of these questions that were asked in a recent Trello webinar um, and answered by some um, members of the Trello team. But I think one thing to note is maybe don't take these as definitely going to happen. These are kind of indicators to what might it might look like in the future, um, but we don't know for sure. So hopefully this gives you an idea, but yeah, go easy on, on Trello. This might not be exactly what, what we'll see when it is finally released. So first of all, I mentioned you can sync across to multiple boards. Like how is there a maximum? Um, it doesn't sound like there will be. You can sync to multiple ones that like you could have the information update on two, three, four different boards if you needed it to do so. Next, will it be free? So I'm sure this is hot on a lot of people's minds, especially given that there are different tiers within Trello. And the response so far is that yes, there will be a free version of Mirror Cards, um, but there will also be a paid version as in part of the business class or enterprise plans. So at the moment, they haven't quite revealed what the details of that will be, but it sounds like and makes sense that the, the business class and enterprise versions will be more powerful. They'll have more um, information, will be more information will be supported and pretty greater control around the permissions and that kind of thing as well. Uh, speaking of permissions, so what if someone doesn't have access to the parent cards board? Then quite simply, it won't display. So that's great. That's going to be, you know, you could, you're not going to worry that information is being mirrored elsewhere that you, you don't want it to be. Controlling the sharing op options. Yeah, so it's probably going to be business or enterprise level that you can do this. And can you mirror some card items but not others? Uh, so mirror you can mirror a checklist. So can you mirror a checklist but like not a description? Um, again, probably on the freemium one, you might not have as much control over this but on the enterprise or business class plan, you you will. So can you make edits to a mirrored card and that reflect back to the original card, also known as a two-way sync? So it sounds like right now on the freemium version, you will not be able to. On the paid version, not sure yet. That was kind of a, they hadn't decided, but and probably I'm thinking maybe not, um, especially early on, um, but yeah, we'll just have to wait and see on that one. So when you mirror stuff across, does um, does your board, the mirrored board, need to have the same structure as the original board? No, it's just card level, so the cards will just reflect. Uh, there's no, no need for them to match up. Can you mirror to different teams? Now Trello has been dividing up um, or every user into a team. So you now have to be in a team to use Trello and 
good example for me is around um, having information on my personal board that I work off and then an editorial calendar somewhere else that another team uses. It'd be great if I could reflect that information across in the other team. So unfortunately at the moment, it sounds like you need to be in the same team for this to work. But in the future, potentially they mentioned enterprise. So I don't know whether this means you have to be on the enterprise plan, which could be a little bit frustrating, especially given that you know a lot of companies are using business class and enterprise is just that bit bit more expensive and it's another level up. So hopefully it's business class, but we'll we'll have to wait and see. Nearly finally, so can you use Butler with mirrored cards? Uh, this is a great question, but at the moment it sounds like no for the early release, but they did like that idea. So I wouldn't be surprised if that does get rolled out in a future update at some point. And this is the final question. So the one that everyone is wondering, and to be honest, we don't have an exact date. But Trello were aiming for May of 2021. So we'll see if that happens. Um, fingers crossed it does, because that's not very far away. We're early in early March right now. Um, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully it does. Okay, so I mentioned Unito earlier on in this video, and uh, here is the power up listing. So uh, I've tested this, this briefly, um, not extensively yet, but just wanted to mention it as it's another option that is available. I think crucially at this point, you need to have been doing this for a while and they do offer the two-way card mirroring. We're not too sure whether Trello are gonna have this out of the box or straight away, but right now um, you need to, it's a great solution, so worth checking it out. And while we're on the subject of power-ups, I work for Aura apps and we have six different power-ups that you can see here. Uh, they all have a different function to them, but the one I wanted to highlight to you because it's a complete freebie. Um, so as a thank you for watching this video all the way through to the end, uh, if you head over to card delete, then you can click and delete cards in way less clicks than you would need to before. Like no archiving is required. Just go ahead and click that delete button and it will remove your cards. Um, so this power-up is free and it's also a bonus power-up, which means it won't contribute to your power-up limits. So it really is a complete freebie. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in that, check the uh, link in the description below of this video and you can head straight over and uh, give it a try. Okay guys, that's it. That's what we know so far about Trello's mirror cards that are coming out very soon. And this is just one of many updates that are coming out from Trello and have come out recently. So if you're interested to know more about these, then check out the other video that we made recently about those, which should be linked around here at this point. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and we will be rolling out loads more videos just like this one with more news, even perhaps before features are released like this, as well as tips and tricks and other kinds of helpful information. So yeah, make sure you hit subscribe if you want all of that goodness. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching and I uh, hope I'll see you again soon.